There might be some good reason why mom used to make you sip on some warm milk before going to bed. In this video, I'm gonna show you how taking a little bit of calcium or drinking some calcium rich drinks or eating some calcium rich meals might help you get a little bit more quality sleep. And at Optimize CEO, you know that I prioritize quality sleep over the quantity of sleep. I would much rather get four good solid REM hours of sleep than I would get eight hours of low quality sleep where I'm waking up, tossing and turning all the time. And if you stick with me through the end of this video, I'm gonna show you one of my drinks that I've been making for the last couple of years that I drink right before I go to bed that ensures that I get a good quality of sleep, whether it's three hours, six hours, or a full eight hours. But first, why does calcium help you sleep? What does it do that makes you get into that deep REM cycle of sleep that you wouldn't get into otherwise? Well, let's take a step back to when you're sitting at the Thanksgiving table. You hear people talking all the time about how turkey contains tryptophan and how tryptophan's gonna make you sleepy. You know, some people will say it's a myth, and it kind of is, but there's a little bit of truth to it. So tryptophan is required to make serotonin. So tryptophan's an amino acid, and it's required to make that neurotransmitter that's called serotonin. And serotonin, like I've talked about in other videos, is the neurotransmitter that helps you feel good. It gives you that sense of well-being. Well, what a lot of people don't know is that melatonin, the neurotransmitter that is released when it starts to get dark out, when it's time to go to sleep, is produced by serotonin. So without serotonin, you can't create melatonin, which means that you can't sleep well. And without tryptophan, you can't make serotonin. So you see the chain of events here. Now you may be asking though, where does calcium come into play? Calcium allows for the proper uptake and utilization and assimilation of the amino acid tryptophan. So without calcium, tryptophan can't be utilized by the brain to create that serotonin. And if that serotonin's not there, then the melatonin's not there. If the melatonin's not there, then you're not getting into that deep sleep. And it's also been shown that calcium values are higher in your blood when you're in a deeper portion of sleep. So when you're in that REM state of sleep and you're sleeping hard, if we were to draw your blood, we'd find that you had higher levels of calcium in your blood at that point in time than if you were in a low quality phase of sleep or if you were awake. According to the European Neurology Journal, it was found that disruptions in sleep patterns were directly correlated with low levels of calcium within the bloodstream. And it was found that once calcium levels were normalized, deep sleep and REM sleep could occur once again. And this has been proven time and time again. One thing that I noticed is when I started taking calcium supplements or I started drinking some almond milk at night, I started noticing that I was a lot calmer and I was noticing that I was a lot more relaxed in the evening time. That probably has something to do with the influx of melatonin in my body and that overall state of relaxation that occurs when serotonin is transitioning into melatonin for nighttime. But I've noticed it with not just me, I've noticed it with a lot of my clients too. And I start getting a regular pattern of taking calcium supplements or making sure they're drinking a little bit of milk if they don't have a dairy issue they tend to get a lot more relaxed and then they ultimately sleep better. And it could be a cumulative effect of better sleep over time. You know, they're not having these disrupted calcium channel pathways that are completely out of whack because of a lack of calcium. So in other words, they're not waking up halfway through the night even when they don't realize they're waking up. So you see what I'm saying is that you can have these micro disruptions in sleep simply because you have disruptions in those calcium channels. You could be waking up and not even realizing it. Your brain is not getting into that deep state of sleep that allows you to get that restorative sleep that you need, even if it's only for good quality hours. So what can you do to get a little bit of calcium in your body without having to necessarily take a supplement? Well, what you can do is make one of the drinks that I've been making for a long time, and you're gonna utilize some unsweetened almond milk, just plain old almond milk, because it's got a lot of calcium in it from those almonds to begin with. So you take like eight to 10 ounces of that, heat it up, add a little bit of agave to it, the reason that you're gonna add agave is because one, it's gonna give it a sweet flavor. But two, I've talked in other videos about having some carbohydrates at night. Having some carbohydrates at night allows for the proper uptake of tryptophan as well. So you're killing two birds with one stone there. And then what I do is I take some unsweetened baking cocoa. The unsweetened baking cocoa makes it, first of all, kind of like you're having hot chocolate, but it also is a powerful antioxidant that starts purifying the body in the process as well and you've got some good properties in dark chocolate and cocoa, they're gonna make you feel good. 
So you're kind of getting a double whammy or a triple whammy, really. You're getting something warm that generally relaxes you. You're getting the calcium that's going to help you sleep better. And then you're getting some of the benefits of the chocolate, too, that are just going to make you have a good sense of well-being so you can go to sleep without your head spinning about what you have to do the next day. And last but not least, you generally want to take a little bit of magnesium with your calcium. So when you're drinking that drink, take a couple hundred milligrams of magnesium because magnesium and calcium sort of work together. And if you have too much calcium without magnesium, that calcium can become toxic and counteract the positive effects of magnesium. So you always want to kind of have those in balance. So get a bit more quality sleep, not a lot more sleep. You're going to save a little bit of time in the process and you're going to feel better along the way. So don't let calcium stand in the way of you this quarter.